Hey guys, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to go over the similarities and differences between two of our very popular Slam Shady lures. This is our Slam Shady 2.0, which is our custom paddle tail uh, lure that we make here at Salt Strong. This is our Salt Strong brand. And then we have the Z Man version of the Slam Shady, and this is the Minnow Z. And I'm comparing these two because they are uh, very similar as far as size goes, but there are some differences that I want to talk about as well, which can help you determine, you know, which one you want to go with. Now, they both do catch fish. I've actually caught one of my personal best uh, redfish on the Z-Man Minnow Z, and I have caught some really big snook and redfish on the Salt Strong version of the Slam Shady here, which is the Slam Shady 2.0. Now at the end of this video, if you are interested in any of these lures, we do sell both of them on our shop page. You can pick them up at fishstrong.com. And if you are one of our insider members, keep in mind that you do get an additional discount when purchasing them from our shop page. So definitely be sure to take advantage of that. So as far as these similarities go, there's really only two things similar about these lures and the fact that they both have the same profile. They are both uh, swim baits or paddle tail lures, whichever you prefer to uh, call them, and also the color. It's that slam shady color. You will notice that the Z-Man color is a little bit more of an off-white uh, than our Slam Shady 2.0 but they both still have that gold and silver flake in there and very similar as far as the color goes. And then as far as the differences, there are quite a few differences between the two lures and I want to go over the important ones first. The first being that the Slam Shady 2.0 has a slot in the belly. Now what this allows for is, you know, better hookup ratio because there is less plastic in the belly so your hook doesn't have as much plastic to go through with that slot in there so you'll get a better hookup uh, that way and the minnow z it's just solid plastic there's no uh, slot in the belly when you get into the four inch version which is the uh, diesel minnow z that one does have a slot in the belly which would be more similar to the slam shady 2.0 but again, without that slot in the belly can definitely, you know, hinder your hookup ratio just because of that extra plastic getting in the way when that hook comes through the lure. And another difference between the two baits is that the Slam Shady 2.0 is three and a half inches and the Minnow Z is three inches. So a little bit of a half of a difference uh, in size there, but really doesn't make too much of a difference, especially if you're trying to focus uh, on using smaller baits depending on the time of year. And then another important difference between the two baits is the material that they're made out of. Z-Man is that very tough uh, sort of TPE material. It's very stretchy. So what that means is that it's going to be more buoyant than the Slam Shady 2.0. So now what does that mean as far as rigging goes? Well, there's something very important you have to factor in when it comes to rigging, especially with depth control. Because if you're using the Minnow Z, which is more buoyant, you're going to want to go with a little bit heavier of a weight than you would with the Slam Shady 2.0 if you're trying to uh, cover that same depth range. So for example, if I'm using a 1 16th ounce jig head or 1 16th ounce uh, weighted hook with the Slam Shady 2.0, I would probably want to go with a 1 8 ounce with the Min, uh, Minnow Z just to get that same sort of depth range when I'm fishing with the Minnow Z in comparison to the Slam Shady 2.0 again because the Minnow Z is going to be more buoyant so you're going to want to go a little bit heavier on the weight uh, than you would with the Slam Shady 2.0. Now because the material is different it's going to be a little bit difficult to rig one over the other based on what type of hook you're using. Now, if I am using the Slam Shady 2.0, the best hook that I've found to use is going to be a 3 aught twist lock hook. That 3 aught size works perfectly with this size bait, and you know it keeps it nice and secure, and is really easy to rig up on these hooks, as you can see here. This is a 3 aught 1 8 ounce owner twist lock hook. You can see I'm just putting that lure onto the spring, the nose onto the spring of that hook, and then going through the slit in the bottom of the belly, measure out where that hook point should come out, pop it through the top of that lure, then just barely skin hook that hook point. And now you have this rigged up nice and weedless, rigs up really easy on these twist lock hooks. Now with the Minnow Z, 
you're going to find because of that uh, material being very stretchy and very uh, resilient, it's going to be hard to rig up on these twist lock hooks. Now I do have a video that shows a little trick to rig them up on uh, these hooks, which you will see a link down below. But the best hook that I like to rig these up on is going to be a Mustad grip pin, a weighted Mustad grip pin hook. This is a 3 aught one eighth ounce uh, Mustad grip pin. And as you can see, it has that weight on the shank and it also, also has a little keeper up here near the bend, uh, near the eye of the hook. So what that allows for with these Z-Man baits is because they are very stretchy, it'll slide right over that weight without damaging the lure, which is nice. And then you can just pop it up over that keeper onto the eye. And because these lures don't have a slot in the belly, another thing I like about these Mustad grip pin hooks is that they're a wider gap than the owner twist lock hooks. So that wider gap can definitely help when you have that material that is basically just all plastic and no slot in the belly, helps give more clearance for a good hook set. So that's another reason why I like to go with the Mustad grip pin hooks with these Z-Man baits. And again, just measure out where that hook point should come out in the belly of the lure, then up through the top like so. And there you can see it's rigged up nicely on the 3 aught one ounce Mustad grip pin hook. And you have enough clearance there to get a good hook set with that wider gap on these hooks. Now, as usual, we like to keep these videos as honest as possible. So as far as the durability goes, the Z-Man Minnow Z definitely beats out the Slam Shady 2.0 because the 2.0 is made out of that, you know, standard plastisol material, which many soft plastics are made out of. But the Z-Man baits, they're made out of that very stretchy uh, TPE material. So definitely uh, much durable than the 2.0. So you may get more fish uh, per lure out of the Z-Man bait over the Slam Shady 2.0. But like I said, they both catch fish and we also sell the 2.0 in a bulk pack of 100 or more lures. So you can definitely uh, get your money's worth there when you do purchase these in a bulk pack. And you can pick up either of these lures at our shop page at fishstrong.com and you can also purchase the hooks that I mentioned, the Mustad grip pin and the 3 aught uh, 1 8 ounce owner twist lock hooks at our shop page at fishstrong.com. And keep in mind, if you are one of our insider members, you do get an additional discount on all products on our shop page. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America, especially if you're targeting redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it because we actually guarantee that you'll start catching more inshore fish while saving time and money. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.